What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a 50 million dollar buy in. And they're letting us bring our own quarters that we've won from previous games. We got a thousand of them. Well actually 1100 because they gave us an extra 100 quarters since I did the 50 million dollar buy in. So anyhow we're going to be putting a thousand quarters in there at one time today. I tried this a couple weeks ago and it actually worked out pretty well. So I'm hoping it works out just as good today. I'm a little bit worried that the quarters might get stuck back there because they like to climb up the wall. So let's just hope everything works out perfectly. And a thousand quarters is equal to $250 in quarters. So this is going to be an interesting experiment. Yeah, if I can remember correctly, the last time I put a thousand quarters in here at once, I got all three of those ginormous towers to fall down. So I'm hoping we can get all them towers to crash down today. They got it stacked up really good. There's two massive towers, uh, five and ten thousand dollar chips back there on the pusher. They got a massive tower of quarters on that right hand side. Check that out. I'd say that's at least 1,000, 1,500 quarters right there on its own. They got some other quarter towers in there. All kinds of gold towers. And I think I can see some $25,000 chip towers on the blue shelves. Might be able to win all those towers on the blue shelves later on. We'll see. See how the game goes. And they also got a bunch of dice in there today. Let's see, there's four white dice and a gold dice right there inside of that gold tower. So the white dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by that number. And the gold dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the gold will multiply by that number. So we definitely have the potential to make some big money today, that's for sure. So anyhow, that right there was the thousand quarters. Well, actually we got a little bit more left. So I'm going to save an extra hundred quarters just in case this thousand quarters at once doesn't really do much. My goodness, check that out. It's all those quarters are climbing up the wall back there. So I will release that skill stop button in three, two, one. Oh my goodness, what's going to happen? Oh yeah, that quarter tower, it's about to go. Oh no. Well, almost all of those quarters got stuck back there. That is not good. Well, they're trying to... Oh my goodness, nice. We got that quarter tower. And the gold tower on the left side. That is absolutely spectacular. And I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple more white dice hidden inside that quarter tower when it fell down. That is amazing. And check that out. We're about to get both of those poker chip towers back there on the pusher. Wow. Oh yeah, jackpot, baby. Oh my goodness! Wow! That's like an infinite waterfall right there! My goodness, we demolished all those towers in no time! So that thousand quarters at once was definitely a huge success for sure. That is just insane! So I had a good feeling it was going to knock down all those towers at one time. Wow! That is amazing! That was even better than the thousand quarter challenge we did the other day. So anyhow, let me go see what I've won real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. I'm back so check this out we got two mystery bags and five dice on that previous round 
I'm pretty sure these mystery bags was hidden inside those towers of chips that was back there on the pusher. So I will open up those mystery bags after we win all those remaining chips and gold out of there. And we've won five dice. So like I said earlier, the white dice, those multiply our winnings, and the gold dice, that multiplies our gold. So that is absolutely exceptional. This has been a brilliant game so far. And not to mention, we also made a tremendous amount of money on that previous round. Got a truckload of chips. Five and ten thousand dollar chips so far. Got all kinds of gold. I'd say there was at least a hundred ounces of gold in there today. My goodness, look at all those five thousand dollar chips on the right side falling down. And ten thousand dollar chips. That is remarkable. When how that loot shoot's getting clogged up. Let's get it cleared out real quick. Yeah, I think there was like a gold bar or something stuck in there and it was blocking everything from falling on down into the loot chute. Well, anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there now. So, let's keep it pushing. We got around 2,600 quarters now. I think that's what it was. I think it was in between 2,500 and 2,600. So, we definitely have enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there today. And plus, there's so many quarters on the play field. Look at that. I'd say there's at least another, goodness, eight, nine, hundred quarters in there we could win, potentially. Oh yeah, that was a massive push on the left. Let's see what that does. So like I said a second ago, after we win all those remaining chips and that gold bar out of there, I'll go ahead and open up those two mystery bags. My goodness, this is pushing incredibly well. So leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that uh, thousand quarters at once. Be honest with you, that worked out a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to give us a lot of trouble today for some reason, but ended up working out better than the last time we did it. So not bad, not bad at all. And let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Would you want to see that again in the future? Just let me know. Oh nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely spectacular. So now let's go ahead and open up those two mystery bags. Alright, here they are. So let's go ahead and open up this blue mystery bag. See if there's anything good and valuable in there. Feels like it has a couple chips or something. Maybe some bitcoins, who knows. About to find out in just a second. Oh yeah, nice, check this out. So we got a $50 chip. If you don't know what this is for, we get to cash it in at the end of the game. They will take anything that's fallen down those side slots and they'll put it back into the play field. And if you don't know this, anything that falls down those side slots, that goes to the house. But with this $50 chip right here, we get to cash it in. They'll take everything that we've lost, put it back into the game. Pretty much give us a second chance at winning whatever we've lost. So that's amazing right there. And we also got this $5 chip, so I'm pretty sure most of y'all already know what this is for. But just in case you don't, I get to cash this in. They will take everything that's on the blue shelves and put it into the play field. That is absolutely remarkable. So I will cash that in here in just a few minutes. And lastly, we got a $10 chip. So this right here is worth one free tower, so I can cash this in they will build a brand new tower in the play field somewhere. And I don't get to pick the value of the chips. They told me it's just could be random value at any time. Like one day they might put a thousand dollar chip tower in there, then the next day could be a gold tower or a five or ten thousand dollar chip tower. Or who knows, maybe even a ten dollar chip tower. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna cash that in after we open up that other mystery bag. So let's see what's inside of this one. This one feels like it has something other than chips. Let's see. Oh my goodness, nice. Check that out. We got three more gold dice. How many gold dice does that make us in total now? Four? Four of them. That is amazing. So if we can get all that gold out of there, you talk about a golden win. It's going to be outstanding. So anyhow, that's not bad, not bad at all. Those mystery bags was loaded up incredibly well. 
So I'm going to go ahead and cash in this $10 chip and they will build a whole new tower in the play field. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I cashed in that $10 chip. They built a whole new tower in there. Looks like they made it into like a pyramid tower and it's made out of five and $10,000 chips. And check that out. They added a red mystery bag in there. That looks like it's loaded up really well. So like I said, it's random what they could put in there. Like one day they might build a whole new tower of $1,000 chips. The next day it might only be $10 chips. Or they may build a pyramid. Like I don't know, it's just totally random what they could build whenever we win that $10 chip. But today they build a pyramid with a bunch of gold on top of it. And they put a red mystery bag in there. So I'm not going to complain about that. Nice, we got that red mystery bag. Sweet. So after we win all those chips and gold out of there, I will open up that red mystery bag and then I will cash in that $5 chip and they will move all that stuff that's on the blue shelf to the play field. Oh my goodness, dropping quarters on the ground. I'll pick those up here in a second. But speaking of quarters being on the ground, I think we have around 2,600 quarters now. I can only fit a thousand of those quarters in the bowl. So the, all the rest of those quarters are just laying there on the ground. I mean, at least we got them if we need them, right? Well, speaking of quarters, we only got like three of them left. There they are. So let me go see what I've won real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So we made a tremendous amount of money on that last round. We got a truckload of gold, and we still got a boatload of quarters. Definitely got a boatload of quarters. I think we got like 2,700 of them now. So anyway, let's win all those remaining chips out of there, and after that we'll open up that red mystery bag. Oh yeah, this is pushing amazingly well today. So anyhow, I hope y'all are doing good and having an awesome day so far. Remember, if you're new around here and you enjoy the content, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. Would help out a lot. We're on the road to 120,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by July the 15th, so... Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, let's try to get 10,000 likes on today's video. 10,000 likes. I know we can do that. I just need all y'all watching to hit that like button. If you enjoyed that thousand quarters at once, leave a like on the video. And also, it is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid for you all hitting that subscribe button or hitting that like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for you all to keep up with the future content. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. If you turn on that bell icon, you will get notifications whenever I upload a brand new video. And I pretty much post videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any amazing content. Hit that subscribe button. Oh my goodness. Well, we just about got it all cleared out of there. Only 10 grand remaining. Let's get it. Let's keep it pushing on that left-hand side. It seems to be working pretty well. Come on, big push. Give me something. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely outstanding. So now, I'm going to open up that red mystery bag. All right, here it is. Let's open it up and see if there's anything good and valuable in there. Oh my goodness, check that out. Looks like cash or something. Let's see, what we get? Oh yeah, sweet. Check this out. We got a stack of cash. Well, a roll of cash, whatever you want to call it. So I will ask them how much this is worth whenever I call them back here to cash in that $5 chip. And I will let y'all know what they say. So that's something different. Don't usually see cash in there. That's incredible. 
So let me cash in this $5 chip real quick and we'll get right back to it. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all those towers that was on the blue shelves and put them into the play field. And I'll explain those extra towers they put in there. All those thousand dollar chip towers. So it turns out a couple weeks ago I was playing a game and uh, we ended up losing the dice. The dice went missing. So they was checking out the security cameras and it turns out there was a dice that fell over the edge. And I think we lost it because the loot chute got too full. So I guess this is their way of apologizing for that. They added like three more thousand dollar chip towers and a couple more gold bars and a dice. I think we just got that extra dice that they put in there. That is absolutely spectacular. Well, I'm a little bit worried about those $25,000 chip towers that are on the pusher. See that? How they're leaning toward the blue shelves a little bit. Oh my goodness. Well, that was a close call right there. That would have been terrible if we had lost any of that stuff at blue shelves. Because all those are $25,000 chips. I mean, even if we did lose stuff to the blue shelves, it would only cost us a hundred grand to get it back. And all those dice that's in there and all those dice that we've won, it'd definitely be worth 100 grand. Oh yeah, sweet, we got two of them towers on the right side to go. Well, that loot chute is getting really clogged up. I think there's some gold stuck in there. Yeah, let's see if we can get that out real quick. Alright, there we go. Oh nice, that other $25,000 chip tower fell down. Fell in a pretty good spot too. That's incredible. Much better than it falling over on the blue shelf. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice. Wow, got that massive tower of gold on the left. Three dice in the play field about ready to go. Those two dice are getting real close to the edge. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, that was a magnificent push right there. That's going to be a humongous waterfall on that right side. Nice what I tell you. So I think our best bet for now is to push on that left hand side. Try to get this tower thousand dollar chips to go. Because if you've seen older videos y'all know the towers that are on the side sometimes take hours up on hours to fall down. I know I've told this story a bunch of times already but I'll say this again. Because I know there's a lot of new people watching, and I try to keep everybody informed and updated on what's going on. But anyway, there was this one time I was playing for over seven and a half hours. Yes, you heard me right. Seven and a half hours trying to win a massive tower of $10,000 chips. It was over there on that right corner, and it was about double the height of that one. And it took over seven and a half hours to fall down. And if I can remember correctly, we still lost a ton of money that day. Oh no, check that out. We're about to lose that dice on the right side. We're about to fall down that gutter. Well, there's not there's nothing I can really do about that. Yeah, there it goes. Oh wait, we won that $50 chip earlier. So I'll cash that in here in a few minutes. They will take everything that we've lost of those side slots and put it back into the play field. So we don't have to worry about that dice. We'll get it back. Alright, so let's get that loot chute cleared out. It's getting really, really full. Oh my goodness, nice. We got that tower $1,000 chips on the left. I was not expecting that thing to crash down. That is remarkable. All right, so we only got like 25, 30 quarters left. Let's get them in there. Let's try to focus on that right side. Try to keep those $25,000 chips from falling in the gutter. Come on, big push, give me something. All right, well that right there was the last of our quarters. Let me go see what I've won real quick and we'll get right back to work. All right, AMD coin pusher has returned. Let's keep it going. 
So let's try to push across the whole field for now. Try to get both sides moving evenly. Looks like there's 75 grand on that right side and a gold bar on the left. So after we win all that out of there, I will cash in that $50 chip. We'll take everything that we've lost and we'll put it back into the play field. And as far as we know, we've lost one dice so far. Lost a white dice on the right side. Who knows, there might have been even more dice than that that we've lost today. Well, I think we've already won. Let me count those up real quick. I think we've won eight white dice so far and four gold dice. So if we can get that other dice that we lost, that'll make nine white dice that we've won in total. Yeah, this very well could be a new record win today. And we've won all kinds of $25,000 chips. And who knows, there might be a bunch more chips that other people have lost of the side slots in there. Because sometimes they forget to empty out their loot box. Well, I don't know if they forget, but either that or the other people that have played before me didn't win a $50 chip. So that's how they put a bunch of stuff that other people have lost into my game. Oh yeah, those $25,000 chips on the right, those are getting real close. Oh my goodness, and I just about put a $25,000 chip back in there. That wouldn't have been good. I mean, even if I would have put that back in there, they would have probably gave it back to me. That's what they normally do if you accidentally put something like that back in there. And anyhow, if you're wondering why they did not move all those chips that are against the walls to the play field whenever I cashed in that $50, I'm not 50, but $5 chip, it's because all those chips are for decoration only. The only way I could win those chips is if I trick shot them into the play field using the quarters. I'll give you an example. So pay attention to that left hand side. See that how I got the quarters to hit those chips over there? But it is extremely difficult to get the chips to go into the play field. And on the other hand, if we were to win those tiny dice that are on top of those chips, if we were to trick shot those into the play field to win those, I would have to give those back to them because those aren't the dice that we get a roll at the end of the game. Those have no value at all. And it seems like we trick shot those dice into the play field in every single game we play now. Like I said, those have no value. We have to give those back to them. But we only got a couple quarters left. That gold bar on the left side's being a little bit stubborn. Let's say a couple more pushes and it'll fall down. And I'm gonna have to collect some quarters real quick. As you can see, we have none left. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So let's keep on pushing on that left-hand side. Seems to be working pretty well. Done got the right side and the center all cleared out. So there's no point in going in the center and on the right side. Come on, bring me the money. Get that gold bar. Now that gold bar, it's hanging like a quarter of the way off the edge, I'm pretty sure. Almost halfway. I'd say we'll get that in no time. And speaking of the gold bars, they're worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I'm, I'm just going to take a guess. I think they're around like two grand a piece right now. $2,000 an ounce. I don't know for sure. If somebody can let me know what the exact spot price of gold is in the comments section, I would truly appreciate that. Come on, big push, give me something. Well, that gold bar is hanging about halfway over the edge now. It's really, really close. And also, if you're wondering what I do with the quarters after I'm done playing, I normally just trade the quarters that I win in for cash because we can't use the quarters that we win on the next game we play. Well, unless we won that bounty chip. So that's how I was able to bring a thousand quarters on this game right here. It's because we've won two bounty chips and had two of them saved up. So I just thought, why not? Let's 
use them on this game right here. Put a thousand quarters in that once. Oh yeah, that gold bar, it's hanging more than halfway over the edge now. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to be a win in the next couple of seconds. Nice, we got it. Got that remaining gold bar out of there. That is absolutely spectacular. So now, I'm going to cash in this $50 chip, and they will take everything that we've lost to those side slots, and they'll put it back into the play field. We'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that we've lost to those side slots, and they put it back into the play field. And it turns out they did not empty out their loot box again. So this right here is pretty much a whole day's worth of stuff that other people have lost to the side slots. Looks like they combined a lot of it into like four or five ginormous towers. They got a huge tower of gold back there on the pusher. Looks like somebody lost a purple mystery bag. Not purple, but pink mystery bag. You can see it on top of that gold tower. And there's a whole bunch of Bitcoins on the play field. And check that out. There's a bounty chip back there. So if I win that, I get to bring up to 500 quarters on the next game I play. Or I could save it for any game I want. Don't necessarily have to be the next game I play. And that dice that we lost earlier on that right side, I'm pretty sure that's that same dice right there on that tower. Oh wow, that was a magnificent push right there. Definitely making out like a bandit today, that's for sure. And take a look at all those $25,000 chips that are on top of that tower there. It's like three or four hundred grand, I'd say. And this might be a new record win for the gold bars today. Because I think we've already won close to 200 ounces of gold. And that right there looks like at least 40, 50 ounces of gold. So if we could win all that, that'll make a new record win for the gold. Well, not counting the gold dice, because the gold dice will multiply all that gold that we win. But not counting the gold dice, I think our record win for the gold was like, let's see, 215 ounces of gold, 220 ounces of gold. So I'm hoping... Oh sweet, we got those two towers on the right side to go. So anyhow, I'm hoping we can get above 220 ounces of gold today. And we've won four gold dice. If all those land on some massive numbers. Like I said earlier, it's going to be a massive golden win. Oh yeah, jackpot baby. Nice. We got that gold tower to go. We also got that pink mystery bag that was on top of it. So now our best bet is to push on that left side. Try to get this tower to go. Like I said, it's not good to push on one side because then the other side will be a little bit stubborn. Now this has been an absolutely exceptional game today. Oh yeah, pretty much got that right side cleared out. There's still a $500 chip right there on the edge. Pretty sure that's a $500 chip. And I forgot to point out all the different values of chips they had in there whenever I cashed in that $50 chip. Well, y'all definitely seen the five and 10 and $25,000 chips. There was also some $100 chips, $500 chips, $1,000 chips, and that was about it right there. And a whole bunch of Bitcoins. Oh yeah, nice. We got that tower on the left side to go. That one had a boatload of $25,000 chips on it. That is awesome sauce right there. Might be a new record win for the gold and might be a new record win for the chips and stuff. All right, I'm back. So let's go ahead and open up this pink mystery bag. Feels extremely heavy. Might be some chips in there or something. We're about to find out. 
Oh yeah, sweet. Check this out. So we got a bunch of $25,000 chips. Let's see, how much money did we make? 100 grand, $200,000, $250,000. That is absolutely exceptional. So I'm pretty sure that the loot shoot got too full on somebody. And that's how they lost that pink mystery bag. Because that pink mystery bag couldn't fit down those side slots. There's no way possible. So that has to be has to been what happened. That loot shoot got too full on someone. Anyhow, I know it looks like I win all the time. That's because I only upload the winning videos. I never really post the losing games. I mean, I've tried posting the losing videos in the past, and y'all didn't seem to like those too well. And plus, I try to keep this channel as positive as possible. So that's why I just stick to posting the winning videos only. But anyhow, I'll probably win one out of every three or four games I play. So I definitely don't win as much money as it seems. I mean, I might make 80 to 100 million dollars profit on this game right here. Then the next game I play, I could lose that 80 or 100 million dollars within the matter of seconds. For example, say I originally did a 50 million dollar buy-in, and say they give me 50 quarters for the 50 million dollar buy-in. Once I lose all 50 of those quarters, then that's 50 million dollars lost right there. There's been times I've lost up to $200 million playing these games. So, I definitely make this look a lot easier than it actually is. And y'all probably only see like 20% of the games that I play. And all those are the winning games because I don't post the losing ones. Anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely outstanding. This has been a fabulous game today. Absolutely fabulous. So now I'm going to call them back here. I think we've won 13 dice in total. We got 9 white dice and 4 gold dice. They will put all 13 of these dice back there on the pusher. We got to roll them on down to that lower shelf. Whatever they land on, get to multiply our winnings and our gold by that amount. So let me call them over here real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I called them back here. They put all 13 of those dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to the lower level. Hopefully they land on some gigantic numbers. And if any of those dice land on a one, it would be a zero. The ones do not count at all. We went on everything from two to six. Because, for example, say that gold dice landed on a one, like that one right there, see that? That would just be multiplying the gold by one. It doesn't add to that four that we got. So the ones do not count at all. And looks like we got one of those white dice to land on a one, so just act like those two dice don't exist. But all the other ones are landing on incredible numbers. Well, it looks like we got another one on the left. We got three more dice to roll. Oh, nice. That one landed on a four. Let's see what that other gold one's going to land on. We got another four. We got one more white dice to roll. And we can keep on pushing to try to flip the dice to a different number, but we're going to have to stop right there because if any of those dice fall over the edge or in the side slots, they would not count those as a win. They would be duds. So anyhow, that's not bad, not bad at all. Those are phenomenal numbers. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all that, and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a $50 million dollar buy-in i'll be right back you all are not going to believe how much money i've won today this is absolutely remarkable i ended up winning 12 million three hundred and seventy four thousand and four hundred dollars in chips and all those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 35 and in total i ended up winning four hundred and thirty three million one hundred and four thousand dollars from a fifty million dollar buy and that is absolutely outstanding that's another huge life-changing jackpot win right there absolutely mind-blowing and on top of that we won 236 ounces of gold and all those gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 12 and in total, I ended up winning 
832 ounces of gold today. And those are around, I think, two grand a piece. So that is absolutely exceptional. And we also won 11 bitcoins, so that's 11 entries into the free $100,000 buy and giveaway. And we won two copper coins. I think those are only worth like five or ten dollars a piece. But still, those are pretty cool to win. And last but not least, we got a bounty chip. So that means I get to bring up the 500 quarters on the next game I play. So anyhow, that's not bad, not bad at all for a $50 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.